I'm not paid to be a role model. I'm paid to wreak havoc on the basketball court. Here's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! Is it the shoes? I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. One of the world's most talented athletes is retiring. It is true what somebody said today. There was Babe Ruth and Muhammad Ali and Michael Jordan and Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky in front. Saved by Flaherty. The rebound. Star! Five just threw it perfectly right over to Corey Bradford. Only Brett I don't care what you say. This is WHPC Sports Talk on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. Game on! Game on! Now. (laughs) Welcome to the Tuesday edition of WHPC Sports Talk here on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC Happy Valentine's Day everybody Anybody got some Valentine's Day plans up here? Oh. <laughs> huh? Doing oh. work Doing work? Yep You doing work and what? Everything School can go to hell Josh Wow, wow. <laughs> Uh-huh. Josh, you you Education like? is a blessing, okay, Braden? Yeah, but Think about a, the kids a, in Ethiopia Blessing my <laughs> ass Professor Heath over here Alright Should be my philosophy, Professor you don't like your foot? Actually, no, I'm not going there. Well, uh, Josh, <laughs> he's, not, he's, not, he's chill. Just, you, chill? you know, Nico's over there trying to educate me. You know? I, what? <laughs> what? Education's a blessing. It ain't. You are paying to be at this college. That's true. This is so, on you. So you know what? I'm, 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 I'm the real ass, aren't I? <laughs> Brayton, Danielle, and Nico each. Eric Williams, Franz Capere here with me this afternoon. How are we doing? You're doing great, great Josh. Okay. I'm sorry, Nico. No, no, no. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing great to the second power. Oof. Oh my god. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all yeah. bring math into this. My Knicks? Hey. How can I not feel great? <laughs> well, RJ Barrett. Hey. Why are you trying to- <laughs> Yo, we just talked Listen, about Listen, Ross this- isn't here. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you just talked about this. No negativity, bro. Nah. From For RJ Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going to get right into it with R.J. Barrett and the New York Knicks. But aside from him, it's all good vibes in Madison Square Garden right now. Uh, Knicks and Rangers, who we'll get to later in the hour. But for now, 516-572-7440, you know what it is. Call up the show. You know what? I've, I've heard the chatter, too. WHPC Sports Talk never talks baseball anymore. Blah, 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 it's blah, blah. It's February. Blah. That's, but you know what? It's football season. I got to throw him a bone every now and then. So... Yeah, I, I hear it all. It's like, oh, Josh doesn't care about baseball. He doesn't. No, Josh does not care about baseball. I mean, listen, what did what Drake say in the language? Talking that ish, which are back to me, just know it always get back to me. I, I, hear, I hear all the talk. We're going to talk some baseball today. <laughs> we're going to talk some baseball today, but we're going to start with the New York Knicks. They beat the Brooklyn Nets finally. <laughs> Nine game losing streak over. 124 106 win over the Brooklyn Nets. Jalen Brunson. The fact that this man was named All Star. <laughs> this man hooped. It's laughable. This man plays so good. He had he was hugging up Iggy and Zeal. JB! Oh my god, he got that dog in him, bro. Man, listen, he I got don't that know. dog in him. I don't know. Brunson, I don't know how Brunson's girl gonna feel about that because they were doing like the little towel over the mouth stuff. I'm like, oh man, Jalen. Uh, in broad daylight. Listen, listen, two plus one equals three. He's setting that up, man. If you know what I mean. Hey, speaking of threes, he had six of them last night on the way to 40 points. Yo, that was such a great transition. Look at you, Josh. Hey. That was smooth. <laughs> Josh, I applaud Yo, the you. the slurpage is insane off the nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, no, hey, watch your mouth, nah, bro. Nah, I'm a, nah, 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 this is my fellow WHC number one. Hey, 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 enough. You see he's hating, bro. Yeah, you know. Do your thing, bro. Th- thank you, Franz. Thank you. No I appreciate no thing. I appreciate that, bro. No problem, bro. Do you think, 21? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know the funny thing about Brunson? He'll score 40 points to score 35 points, and it's always on efficient shooting. It's always on, like, 15 of 21, 13 of 18. Like, this guy's just not a shot chucker. He, he gets it done, and he gets it done efficiently. Julius Randle, the All-Star, 18, 10, and 4. Uh, RJ, four points. We're going to get to RJ Barrett in a little bit. Four points. 24 yeah. minutes. <laughs> 24 minutes, four points. For On her. inefficient shooting, as always. For uh, Ronald McDonald Barrett. <laughs> but Josh Hart. <laughs> That's what we're going to focus on because it's, it's positive spin on the Knicks today. 27 points in your second game as a New York Knicks. And you talk about efficient shooting. 
10 of 14 from the field, four threes, plus 25 off the bench. Sheesh. I mean, let me represent for Brooklyn Nets fans here, too. I know it was nine. Now it's probably down to like four. So (laughs) minus Charlie, too. Charlie's with the good guys now. Charlie from Floral Park. Uh, Dinwiddie had 28 points, but Ben Simmons, uh, two points, three rebounds. Told y'all bet the under last night. <laughs> Told y'all. <laughs> two, three, and two, minus four in 13 minutes. You know what? You remember how we closed yesterday's show? I was like, if the Nets win, I'm not going to say a word about Ben Simmons. No, you lied. I lied. You lied. What do you mean he they lied? Fi- no, no, no. Because they finally snapped the... the- 15 game losing streak against hey, Ben Simmons. Nine, 19. Oh, against it was ben. nine. Was it 19? It was 19. No, I looked it up on stat moves. It was, it was 15. Yeah. Still bad. That's that's <laughs> actually not what you want. 15 and oh, now 15 and 1. I mean, I, but you know what? I'm true to my word. If they would have won, the Nets would have won. I had no choice. I'll, I'll shut up about Ben Simmons for the rest of the season. You sure? I, I would have. You knew that was Cap. Nah, that, well, that yeah. See what it, he just shook his head. <laughs> yeah. What did Kanye say? I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. But I mean, it's not what you want in 13 minutes. And if he's the guy on the franchise, he's the franchise player. He's the highest paid player on the team. Can't even get 15 minutes off the bench anymore. I mean, I know they brought him Mikael Bridges, Dorian Finney Smith, Cam Johnson. They all play. They're all wings. Ben Simmons is a wing. I know, like people like to call him a point guard, but nah. That's the Nets story. Nets are still fifth in the East. Heat are the sixth seed. Knicks are just a half game behind the Heat, two games behind the Nets in the standings now. So I'm going to go around the room, and you know me. I'm, I'm the craziest Knicks fan in the world. If they lose a game, I'll come in here bitching and moaning and complaining. Oh, and start yelling on the mic and stuff. But they've won a couple in a row. They're on a good stretch lately. They bring in Josh Hart, who's been amazing. So what should the optimism level be with the Knicks right now with this recent stretch and the acquisition at the trade deadline of Josh Hart? Hey, man, the future is bright. It's bright. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Josh Hart has shown us what type of player he is already. Emmanuel quickly has shown us he can be consistent. Quentin Grimes... We're still waiting for him to level up like Emmanuel quickly, if you know what I mean. But he's better on the defensive end than Emmanuel quickly is. Once that development of our starting shooting guard and Quentin Grimes gets where it needs to be, I think this is a dangerous team. I really do. And then the development of Deuce, because we know Deuce, he's also a guy that can contribute as well. what y'all giggling about? I'm not they giggling. They all giggling over bro. there. I'm not giggling. Eric got me giggling. Is it because you got KD? I'm not. No. You, so you could just it. laugh at us now? I'm not laughing. It is Valentine's Day. Maybe love I'm is in the I'm not laughing. So, like, I can't. I, I can't. Bro. This is, this, is, this is carrying over see, from the, the Giants the, being no, no, rated five years. Me, on, us on the broadcast. I, that was, those was grown man laughs. I know your friends are something different. <laughs> they over here giggling. That's giggling. Yeah, that's giggling I was not giggling. bro. They giggling. I was shaking my head. But listen, for one, the whole time France was talking. The the future yeah. is bright though. Yes. The future is bright. And no. I think I think we're gonna be more consistent. What'd you say? No. How is it not though? Y'all just no. be hating no, 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 with no, 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 no facts. No, 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 no. I'm not hating. Because you know, Julius Randle can't show up in the fourth quarter. All right, he got Brunson, but he need a superstar. For t- no, 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 no. The Knicks are good right now. They need a superstar to put them on that next level, to be on the level with Boston and 76ers and Milwaukee. Then they, they won't get to that level with these guys. Yes, Eric, you just asked me about my optimism. Uh, All I'm saying is the future is bright. I'm not saying my team's going to the finals. I think it's pretty bright. How I think, bright? Bro, even... even Would have been a lot brighter if they had Donovan Mitchell. But you know what? Hey, I, I'm looking at the standings now. Think about it. The Nets are not the, the KD Kyrie Nets anymore. The Heat... They got. A, I think they have like the fifth toughest schedule left in the league right now. So there's a real chance the Knicks, if they keep playing well, they can catch up to sixth or fifth. And if they get to fifth, you set up that matchup with the Cavs yeah. in the first round. And I think the Knicks could definitely put up a fight against that's the That's what I'm saying. Oh, like the Cavs, that's a team we've beaten this season. And Twice. then Exactly, at that. And then on top of that, what, we've beat the Celtics before, the team that everybody's so hype about. Every time we get in a, a, a game with Philly, it's a dogfight. 
And we beat ourselves if you really want to talk about it because there's been two games where we've blown double-digit leads and fourth-quarter leads to Philly. So once we find some consistency, why why can't we compete with top teams in the East? Why can't we compete with top teams in the West? Maybe the West is a long shot because, you know, the West is kind of stacked. But we've shown that even when we get in there, game, th- these type of games, it's not just belt to cheeks and they're dog-walking us the whole game. You know what I'm saying? We're not getting used and abused out here, you know? We're actually competing. It's just all about finding chemistry and consistency. And shoot, we added chemistry with Josh Hart. Josh Hart and JB, on top of the one-two punch with JB and uh, and Juju, that's bright right there. I'm not saying we're going to win a chip, but shoot, even if this team didn't make it into the play-in, I'm confident in whoever we face, we're going to wash them. Then we're going to get to that first round. And I think we're a team that could pass the first round. Shoot, when you look at our last playoff, um... It was only Juju that season himself. And shoot, when he was gone, D. Rose stepped up, couldn't get the job done. But now, Juju doesn't have to do it himself. Well, you know, you know what happened the last time he had made the playoffs. Trey Young, you know, he, he had this whole thing. But, you know, playoff random showed up. Ass cheeks. But it's going to be different. It's going to be different. He's got a point guard now. He has a point guard now. I, I'm going to tell you the thing about Brunson, right? He's He's... A score, and he can score, but he's not your traditional point guard because I watched him, and you know he he was hot last night. He was hot, I admit it. But you know it was it was certain guys like Josh Hart and I don't know whoever else. I wasn't really paying attention to the game like that. But there was a possession where he had a guy open, and he just took the shot, and it was it wasn't a good shot. So I feel like he he takes those heat checks to a whole different level, and it's just like you don't got to do that, bro. You got other players on your team. Whoa, we can't do that to JB. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying he's not a traditional point guard. He's not pass first. We well, we don't. It it don't matter. We we had this conversation. uh, Remember when we asked you? We said I think it was me. I asked you like what guard you want the the Suns to go after, and you was like this league is full of a lot of score first young guards. Right. You know what I'm saying? So shoot, if that's what he is, so be it. We got to find somebody who's gonna fit around that, and that's why we found a guy like. Josh Hart, who's going to pick up where JB leaves off. Maybe Josh Hart is going to be the guy to find the shooters. Maybe IQ is going to be, uh, no, nah, IQ be chucking, but maybe, yeah, let's just keep it at Josh Hart. Maybe Josh Hart is going to be the guy to find the shooters I when feel, he's not scoring 27. I feel as if the the Knicks are missing that big man that could play defense and spread the floor on offense. We definitely If are. they had that, then I, like a superstar center or like even a star center that could shoot and play defense, that that's a key piece that they're missing because if they had that, they would be very dangerous dangerous in the East right now. Definitely, definitely. That's a great point because when you look at teams like they have dominant bigs, the Bucks, Giannis could shoot, he could play anything. Uh, Sixers, you got Embiid, Nuggets, you got Jokic. Uh, who else? W- the, the mid Jokic is Mauricio, which uh, let me just imply that. Yeah. <laughs> the mid Jokic, oh, but no just, just a that. decent center. <laughs> the mid two times. No love decent. loss, still love you, Mauricio, but I don't know what you think nah, about him, my guy. Yeah. But yeah, when you when you look at you know you look at good teams, you see solid big. So you're right. If we do get a solid big who could do it on both ends, superstar big, this team could definitely go to the next level. But as of right now, this is a team I'm confident that is gonna make it past the first round of the playoffs. I'm not going in there shaking in my boots. Like I'm prepared for whoever we face. You know what's crazy? You bring up the superstar big and a trade rumor I saw. Yesterday, during the game, or a little bit after the game finished, Knicks fans were talking about, you know, Minnesota. They traded all those picks for Rudy Gobert. It's not looking too good. They might try to get those picks back. And Carl Anthony Towns is a guy that, no. hey. No. But who else no, are you going to get? but I feel like that would be good for the Knicks, and that would be good for Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, just being close to home. Maybe I just don't like Carl Anthony Towns, and that's it. Listen, I know he's from Scadaway. Do you, do you not, not like him Newark, because? But. Do you not like him because he tried to make his voice deeper? <laughs> now he really. Yeah, nah, he just told me that before. Done. He told me that before. <laughs> no, that's that's one reason. But on top of that, I just shoot. I don't think when we say superstar big, I don't think Carl Anthony Towns. No, he's not a superstar, but he's a star in this league. Super. I feel like as if the word superstar gets thrown around too much. Oh. Sh- I almost cursed because I looked at his contract. <laughs> yeah, it's, Damn. it's pretty hefty. He's making $50 million in 24-25, 54 in 
58 and 26, like, 27. Keep, like, car, are you serious? Mil in the final year of that deal. Like, that's ridiculous, bro. Who the hell gave him this deal? <laughs> yeah, no. Cat is just going to have yeah, to stay I, in Minnesota. Yeah, never so, mind. Never mind. So never mind, who's the big man? All right. Obviously, you know, Wimbayama is out of it. But if the Knicks had the chance to get Wimbayama, just like, you know what? Let's offer up whatever we can to get Wimbayama. Ten first round picks. <laughs> What? Yo, God, Josh. I'm, I'm, I'm messing around. I'm messing you around. know who, who we need to reunite with, bro? KP, bro. I was about to say that, too. That's who we need I like to reunite that. with. I actually don't like... I don't hate that. He's a free agent this summer? I have no clue. Let me look at his contract real quick. He might be a free agent this summer. Let me look at Tingus Pingus's contract. Honestly, the last time I um heard anything about KP was... I was on Twitter, and I seen he was talking about how things ended in New York. He was saying how he wished it didn't go that way. And he was, I think he was like skeptical about a comeback to New York. And I see now, I'm like, mm. do it. Let me ask you a question. RJ Barrett for PJ Washington off season because obviously his his trade values went down. PJ Washington. Nah, I ain't doing that. It's too much of a lateral move. I know RJ Barrett's value was down, and we're gonna get to him in a little bit, but. You have to save him as an asset for a star to a superstar player. Now, obviously, you get a superstar, you're going to have to pair him with a lot of first-round picks. Maybe Quentin Grimes will be topping. But I think that's what I'm saving R.J. Barrett for. Because whatever you want to say about him right now, and trust me, I got a lot to say about this Whopper Jr. with cheese I've been watching lately. <laughs> but whatever you want to say, he's still a 20 points per game scorer in this league at the age of 22. He's averaging, I mean, he's not averaging a career high anymore. But, I mean, it's still nothing to sneeze at, so... That's what I'm looking at in terms of R.J. Barrett. And you brought up Chris Tapps Porzingis. So I'm looking at his stats. 23 points per game, 9 rebounds. He just scored 34 against the Warriors. He, last night, scored 36 versus Charlotte on February 8th. He scored 30 points or more in four of the last six games. And if you want to talk about a reunion, listen, he's used to playing in New York City. And he sounds real regretful about how he left. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he got some bad advice from his brothers and stuff and his agents. And he demanded that trade. But if you look at it now, he's been really remorseful. And he has a player option next year. So if he declines that, and he really wants to come back to the Knicks, I would happily take back Chris Dasporzingis at this point. I would too. It's, yeah. it's no hard feelings anymore. He grew a beard and became a man. <laughs> <laughs> but we do go for Chris Stops. What are we giving up? Well, here's the thing. You don't have to trade for him yeah. because he can become a, an unrestricted free agent if he turns down that option. Now, oh, and we do have like two empty roster spots, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. We brought guys up. And think about it. I know Mitchell Robinson's had a great season when he's been on the court, but the key wording when he's been on the court, yeah, he gets hurt a lot. So if you could maybe get some trade chips back for him, roll with Porzingis at the center. I love Jericho Sims as a backup. Yeah. But you can keep Hartenstein. Like, don't you think that was always a problem for Porzingis too? He was always like injury prone. It was, but if you're going to have an injury-prone player, I'd rather have a guy scoring 23 points right. and 9 rebounds than yeah. Mitchell Makes Robinson. Sense. And no shade to Mitchell Robinson, but <laughs> that's just what it is. But yeah, I'm pretty optimistic. I think I'm with France. Now, if you look at it, the Knicks are now five games over 500. Like I said, there's a real chance for them to get as high as the fifth seed. So now expectations got to change, especially with this Josh Hart acquisition. Because yeah. if you look at it now, I mean, this guy, Josh Hart, is just everything I've ever wanted in the Knicks player. He... Hustles on both ends. He gets a lot of steals. He rebounds like a demon. He's six, only six foot five. Yeah. So he does everything on the court. He's a Tibbs type of guy. And to bring up Tibbs too, I know I've called him every name in the book, but I got to give him credit a little bit here because you brought up the lack of point guard play. The Knicks don't really have a pass first guy, but the team gets it done by committee with the ball movement. There's definitely a lot more ball movement this season than last season. And... One thing I'll say, and a lot of NBA fans complain about load management. Well, <laughs> Tibbs is anti-load management. And how many major injuries have the Knicks really had this season? Not a lot. Mitchell Robinson, that's really it. And that yeah. was a, a little thumb injury. Yeah. So he's really, he plays his guys every night and his guys play hard for him. No matter what I want to say about his schematics and everything else, players play hard for Tibbs. They really go hard for Tibbs. So I definitely got to give him credit there. And that's all, the, that's all the good stuff with the New York Knicks. But then we got to get to R.J. Barrett. Do we? Nah, he don't go nah, hard. We, we do. He we don't do. go hard at all. <laughs> we do. We do. We do. He doesn't. No. Nah, uh, 
Like what happened though? I, I don't know. He's got ED. That's crazy. Oh, you, you think he needs a gas station pill, Nico? Bro <laughs> needs a gas station like <laughs> mega pill. You know, he's val- like 15 of them at once. It's Valentine's Day. Maybe you could try it. So, you know, I know he's lonely girl. tonight. Nah, chill. He's got a girlfriend. Nah, bro. why? Why is she doing that? He got a little nice girl from Duke University. Really? Yeah. She look good. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Nico, do some Nico will be the judge, but <laughs> RJ Bear, like I said, Whopper Jr. with cheese lately. The last five games, fourteen point four points per game, three rebounds, two assists, thirty four percent from the field, six to eight percent from the line. This is time for this man to hit the bench. Sixty eight percent from the free throw line. Sixty eight percent from the free throw line. First, bro, disappointing. For if, a third pick, right? Just like his stats. I, I, I explained this yesterday. You know, I, I got guys coming at me. Oh, he's only 22 years old. Like I said, this is not Jason Tatum. We're not talking about, oh, he's still 19. Like, no. Hmm. He's 22 years old. He's been in the league for four years. Other guys is 22 years old and been in the league for four years. John ja Morant, Darius Garland, um, Zion Williamson. Even though he's always hurt, every time he touches the floor, he's productive. This guy is like the most inconsistent player in the league right now. He'll have a five-game stretch like this, and then he'll go and have a five-game stretch where he averages 23 points. It's pathetic. I got to call it for what it is. You know what? I know this is the uh, hate on R.J. Barrett show and the hate on Ben Simmons show. Uh, we we spent enough time on Ben for his uh, 13 p- minutes per game. But this is R.J. Barrett's time. I know Ross isn't here, but I know Ross would be crying for him to hit the bench, especially with the way Josh Hart has played. But you know what? The Knicks have one more game before the All-Star break. Tomorrow at Atlanta. Atlanta's beat us two times out of three this season. I'm giving him one more chance. <laughs> one more chance. Play well in the starting lineup, you get to keep your starting job. If you put up another burger-ass stat line, you got to hit the bench out of the All-Star break. I'm starting Josh Hart. I'm rolling with Brunson, Grimes, Hart, Randall, and, and Hartenstein or Sims or whoever, or maybe Mitchell Robinson gets back, but... One more game. You got to show me something, RJ. Or else if I'm Tibbs, out of the All-Star break, that's my big adjustment. Josh Hart into the starting lineup, who has that chemistry with Jalen Brunson, obviously from Villanova. Meshes well with the starting unit. He's a plus-minus demon. That's the move I'm making. But I'll give RJ one more chance. I'm feeling generous. It's Valentine's Day. I'm in a good mood. That's how I'm feeling with RJ Barrett. One more game. Bro, if RJ hit the bench, I kind of want to keep Josh Hart on the bench because I feel like you always need that spark coming off the bench it could be iq only so much i feel like shoot josh hart damn yeah damn near had 30 iq will come off the bench and give you like 20 it's not necessarily a 30 ball and then on top of that josh hart gets it done on both ends so defense also gives your team a lot of momentum as well i would have said jb grimes juju long shot topping then we go with mitch hart and stein but that's yo. I want to see Toppin get on the floor more, bro. It really makes me sad. They just even when he he's on the floor, he just sits off in the corner. I feel like they're not utilizing him in a pick and roll game where he could be dangerous. But I think I'm noticing why. I feel like every time Obi Toppin gets on the floor, not just blaming him, but when they try to get in the second rotation and don't have Juju or don't have a Brunson out there. Defense is so dog water. Like, nobody commands that second group. We can't look to I- IQ to be the guy who's going to command that second group and be the, the defensive, the guy to get it all figured out. IQ's a, he's just there to look cool and get buckets. You know what I'm saying? That's why we look at IQ. Uh, Hartenstein, I guess Hartenstein be talking or whatever. He's like the Eastern Conference Jokic at a point. Um... Jericho Sims, I feel like he's mute. He just goes out there and jumps mad high. I feel like <laughs> Obi, our guy who we drafted so high, has to like kind of show some leadership in a sense when he does get out there. But I, I don't know. That's what I was noticing. Every time Obi's on the court with the second rotation and defense is trash, he gets pulled out first. Like yeah. If you go out there, you at least got to make yourself known. Do something. Talk a lot. Smack somebody's shot in the third row. Because you already know if things go left, you're getting pulled before IQ is. I don't know, but I want to see OB succeed so bad, but he's not doing anything to raise anybody's eyebrows and surprise anybody. 
it's a sad story with Obi for real because if you look at just his last five games, four points, three points, two points, two points, two points, he's not getting the opportunity. It's unfortunate that him and both Julius Randle are both strictly power forwards Yeah. because you can't really play them together and Julius Randle's having an all-star season. But here, here's my thing with the bench. Because you bring up Josh Hart and you like him coming off the bench because he's a jolt of energy any t- every time on both ends. But uh, I just think about how bad R.J. Barrett's been in the first quarters of games. It's killing the team. Like the Knicks, the Knicks have played well in the the first quarters as a team, but R.J.'s the one guy holding the back, and he just doesn't fit with Randall and Brunson. All three of those guys are the mid three. They need the ball in their hands. Yeah. Brunson just make magic happen with it. Randall has two. It's uh, it's RJ. He needs a ball in his hands, and he's not really. Yo, what do Nico be sending in these chats, bro? What are you sending? What happened? What now? I'm I'm looking at like what am I looking? Yo, at, now we need to address what? this. Now I'm outing you right I'm, now. I'm outing you. What is this? Stop. Is it's, that? It's, it's <laughs> what? I'm not in the group chat. I'll stay out of it. Yeah, you, you don't want you don't, you don't want to be in this right now. This is how bad what is, is this? On a scale of one to ten. You think I was playing yourself, bro? What is this? Ah. Uh, it's a KFC pocket. Yo. You can finish the yeah. rest. <laughs> <laughs> can we say that? All right, so. Uh, we're not moving uh, on. No, we're moving on. No, we're, we're really, moving on. You're really not. I'm behind we're the moving board, on. No, you're, the your, board, camera we're like some, your camera is like some ex-employees, we're, I feel we're, like. We're moving on. Nah, we got the spotlight on you, bro. Let's play this up. This is not. ridiculous, Nico. <laughs> hey, hey, man. You brought this upon yourself, brother. Nico. How bad is it on a scale of 1 to 10? 10? No, for him, 5. No. Actually, that's a good point. That's a great point. Three. You are listening to WHPC Sports Talk here on the Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Josh Imahi joined by Brayton Daniello, Nico Each, Eric Williams, and Franz Compare. So we talked about the Super Bowl a lot yesterday. Before you actually start, let me just read a tweet that actually just came out from AJ Brown. First off, congratulations. Y'all deserve it. This is lame. You was on the way out the league before Mahomes resurrected your career on your one-year deal, TikTok boy. He admitted that he grabbed you, but don't act like you're like that or ever was. But congratulations again. No respect for Boo Boo Schuster. Who does have respect for him? Bro, respect he just went on Twitter. Twitter. Maybe Jackson Mahomes, that's it. Mm. Twitter fingers is crazy because he just said TikTok boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they be tweeting, bro. Like, they really going to do something when they see each other. Hey, you, I mean, they yeah, have the chance. Be fair, we all want to punch Juju Smith. Juju no, but days. still, don't get on Twitter. None of y'all mellow. When when KG said his, his wife tastes like Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, yeah. Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh, yeah, where, where was That's he at? Honey he was at the locker room. He was at the locker room, ready to get it popping. Y'all just run to Twitter and start talking. Yeah, y'all not you, doing you know, nothing, bro. Y'all had nothing but space and opportunity. Y'all was gonna fill with each other. You know, it, it's guys in the league now. Like I'm talking about the NBA. You know. It don't cost nothing to see how these hollows feel. <laughs> like, that's clown activity, bro. Just be a civilian. Hey, jo- John Morant gonna point them lasers at you, bro. Nice. AJ, let me chill. AJ chill. Brown talking about respect with, you know, he plays in a city like Philadelphia is pretty ironic. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hey, Amen. Inbred ass fan base. I mean, wow. <laughs> he's not wrong. Screw uh, him. No, 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 they're of the worst. All sports, that's the worst fan base. Nah. Thank you. Y'all who, forgetting who, 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 how bad Boston is. No, but you know Boston, Boston was. But, you know, but when no, New no, England was winning those Super no, Bowls, no, no, they no. were bad. No, 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 but but here's the thing: Boston has success. You want to talk about pathetic? Yeah, you know, let's talk about pathetic sports franchise. They're just cities. We talked about Atlanta already. How about Philadelphia? Flyers haven't won a cup since '75. What's the '76ers like, Josh? You know more basketball than me. How oh, how they've been doing? Oh man, since they haven't won the whole, since the, Doctor J. Yeah, right? Doctor J. Yeah, and then the, and then the whole debacle with the process and all that. Phillies two championships, 140 years of existence. You thought the Rangers was bad? That's even worse by a long shot. What's the word I forget? Oh, the Eagles. It's since around 1939, one ring. That's worse than the Jets. That little Disney World ass scripted yeah. Super Bowl with Nick. So, so you see Nick where I, you Foles? see where I'm going. You see, that's Boston, not real. Boston, that. yeah, Boston, Boston has Rangers. earned the right to talk trash because you know, like a kid that's 18, not even, has seen a championship at each of the four sports. What does Philadelphia have? If there was a city that didn't deserve to, you know, lose four championships in a span of three months, it would probably be Philly. That's why Ooh. it happened. 
You Yo, when what? it comes to negativity, it's like watching a master go to work, man. This man Brady it really is. is. That Yo, was he, too easy. I Yo. hated the no, dude. He dude, did his no, the, the, light dude, work. front the, sec, the second the final Jalen hurts his pass, which you know the final one. I don't really know what they were thinking, but yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> hail mary, it only came up short twenty five yards. The second it hit the turf, <laughs> the second it, the second it hit the turf, I screamed out loud, "F Philly!" And everyone in my house was looking at me like, "Bro, like why you hate Philly?" Not to diss anyone in my household, I love you all, but it's like. Why not at Philly? <laughs> Screw them. There's nothing nice about that place. No, and and the fans are just, that's just the exclamation. That's the icing on the cake. The, fil- the city is trash, okay? The fan base is a million times worse. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. I heard Temple University's lit, though. I, no, I, I have yeah, a friend who no. goes there. I feel bad for him. He's an Islander <laughs> fan, and, you know. Temple's rough. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it is a little crazy. I heard it's lit, though. Have a great time. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Located in Philly, so it gets you know automatically downgraded by anything. Any Eagles fans listening? I just I just want to hear. I don't like, care. Corey, I want some, no, I want some entertainment. I want some entertainment. Corey, Corey might be listening. Josh, what's the number? Five one six five seven two seven four four zero. What's Call the texting up. number? I don't know. Oh, are you, are you, are you oh. mean Corey David? Yeah. You know, I'm not going to know that. Josh. Who's he going to be a fan of next? He's probably going to jump on that cowboy train before you know it, Ark. No. No, he will. He, if he if he goes from Giants to Eagles, he could definitely go Giants to Cowboys. No, no, let's be real. Yeah. He went from Cowboys to Eagles to Giants. Corey oh, was. he was a Cowboys fan already. Oh, wow, it's I, impressive. I, I'm, I think he was a Redskins fan. <laughs> Sean Taylor. Yeah. And, and you know what the thing while we're at it because I just want to add this. You know, everyone because Corey talked it. What was he? He was hyping up the defense, right, for the Eagles. And like, yeah, all he was that. also sex. slurping the Eagles. Sex, 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 talking like you. So, so you know, here, here's the thing. You know, you, you know, Eagles fans, because, you know, you know, Philadelphia, when they lose, and this is kind of like most fan bases, but, you know, when they lose, it's, oh, it's the refs, oh, it's Patrick Mahomes. First off, that's the thing, it's Patrick Mahomes. The second that the Eagles defense faced, not a proven quarterback, because Daniel Jones, I think, has proven us wrong this season, but once they, you know, an established quarterback that's been on the big stage, he exposed them. And that's the point. Like, you could bitch about the Bradbury play all you want. One, he admitted to doing it, which doesn't look good if on your part. Two, you're talking about a defense that didn't get a single stop on Mahomes in the second half. So I'll just I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But no, it, it's the refs. That's the problem. That's you know, the problem. You know what's funny to that point? Because we questioned the play calling and we questioned the defense for the Eagles in the second half. Well, both guys, <laughs> Eagles offensive coordinator Gone. Shane Steichen and New the defensive coordinator who I was flaming yesterday, Jonathan Gannon. I mean, what are you, what are you doing? You're blitzing Patrick Mahomes on, on third and goal from the five yard. How do you think that's going to work out for you? Well, they scored on the same play twice. No K- big deal. Yeah, Kadarius wide open, Sky Moore wide open. Yeah, Kadarius Tony with the what longest punt return in Super Bowl history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, to that point, maybe their special teams coordinator should have gotten the head coaching job. Since we're just giving were, mediocrity head coaching jobs now. They were talking about how, like Joe Shane like constructed the suit by sending Tony to the Chiefs and then giving up Bradbury to the Eagles. Hey, that's a that was his plan. Master class, master class, but. The Colts, Steichen, offensive coordinator for the Eagles. Jonathan Gannon is going to the Cardinals. I wrote on the topic sheet, what's the better hire? I should really be asking what's the what's the worst hire. Because both of these are Gannon, bad. Arizona, Arizona, yeah. yeah this is, like, That's what terrible. are you doing? They don't want to go anywhere. The no, NFC is wide open for anybody. But Kyler Murray really need to get out. He does. He needs to get out. You tell me you're gonna hire no, the man. Just waiting for the new Call of Duty update, bro. Nah, because he, he's a good quarterback. He is Luke a good quarterback. He's, good stuck, he's stuck in hell. It went from Cliff he Kingsbury to, to a guy who's to gonna basically be known as the new 28 to three. Probably it's not as pathetic as that, but it's along the lines. He needs to get out. It's funny that you guys all agreed on on Gannon because did you guys see the video where some guy said thank Doug Peterson for the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl and how he exposed the the Philadelphia Eagles defense. With the whip routes, it yo he really broke it down so beautiful to the T, and how Philly overcompensated for motion routes in the backfield. You're talking about when the Jaguars played the Eagles earlier in the yes, year, and they scored four. on that same play. Yes, yeah, and they completely dismantled the Eagles twice on the same play with Sky Moore and Kadarius Tony. I got a big ass <laughs> smile on my face right now. Like, <laughs> you're telling me Kadarius Tony and James Bradbury. And Doug Peterson all had a, a, a part in the Eagles' demise. I love that. It's crazy. I love that. You think if Doug Peterson never got fired, they win the Super Bowl? Hmm. Here's if the, Doug Peterson here's is the, the head coach for the Eagles in this Super Bowl, with I his, think they win. With his coaching staff, yeah. Is he a better coach than Sirianni? Oh, I think 1, so. Oh, 1,000%. Yeah. Sirianni, hold on. Sirianni, uh, let's Sirianni be real. Is, no. Peterson didn't have the weapons that Sirianni had. He didn't. Not even, no. not even close. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's true. Like, he, Zach Ertz was really he, it. He also had to deal with, you know, 
you know, his backup QB exactly. having to go out and get the job done. Nick Foles had the guy greatest Super Bowl fifty million performance in Eagles franchise history. I would have loved to see the face on Nick Foles' face when he got the he got the script for that. <laughs> I got, I'm going to do what? about that all over the place. Why, what? why is Nick Sirianni so immature as a head coach? Because he's a child. He, he fits the him. city perfectly. He's just a punk bitch. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I wrong? Perfect, yeah. Fits perfectly he's in a good that coach. city. He is a good coach. He's a great probably, player's coach. He probably went out to, with dinner to, with Torts after the game, probably. Probably uh, talked about how trash Tony is. John Tortorella, shout out? Yeah. yeah. I haven't I heard John that name in so long. Yeah, I mean, he's in Philly. What do you expect? Oh, he's Flyers a, he is trash. in Philly now. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean, how, how are the Flyers doing this year? We're going to get popular. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, yeah. It's not yeah but, but not as enough to be like, you know, <laughs> in the Connor Bedard sweeps. It's really like... They're mid. They're mid if you think like about right it. It's like right below mid, but not as enough to be as. That's the worst place to be. That's yeah. where I thought the Knicks were. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not what you want in Philly. It's a shame. They can't lose in the Stanley Cup final now. Sucks. <laughs> all they need is the 76ers to do, go somewhere, but they won't either. Yeah, the 76ers catching that L in the first round to the Knicks, first of all. That, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> you know. That's playoff Harden right there and playoff MB. We know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. It's Philadelphia with their cheesesteaks and everything and their whack-ass airport. You know what? I, I, <laughs> this is what happens when you don't sign Bo Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> the Bo Cruz curse? That was a great I, movie. It was. It was I enjoyed it. No, he's a Raptor. What was Anthony Edwards' name in that I movie? Forget. It was so Kermit. goofy. Kermit, Kermit bro. How are you going to name name someone Kermit, Kermit in a movie? Was Kermit? That pissed me yeah, off. Yeah, it was Kermit. So it was Kermit. What was, what was his, his last full name? name? Yeah, I'm I trying to figure know. that out. It was yeah. Kermit. Y'all know what I'm thinking right now, right? Bah. Of what? Kermit the Frog? Come on. Patrick Mahomes? Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. I, I really thought we played good. I thought we played <laughs> <laughs> like that. Patrick. I mean, I guess his dad got the... The uh, Newport voice, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious to see what Mahomes' mother sounds like. Because, like, how did that, like, mix together to make oh, the no. Kermit voice? <laughs> Moving on, though. Uh, Brayton, the Jets. Oh, great. Here's Here the situation go for the New York Jets. Oh, please, piss off with you. No, don't even <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> Respectfully. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? Respectfully. Z- Zach Wilson. Let me break it down. Zach Wilson's back oh, to QB God. next season. This team goes nowhere. <laughs> End of story. But you know Done. what? What? That might be the reality because Derek Carr is going to be a free agent. He just got released today. He's been heavily linked to my Saints. Aaron Rodgers is on a darkness retreat. He's not. He's, so he's, he, he's, he's a Jet. Yeah, we he's see. done. He's a Jet. He's a Jet. He's a Jet. He might just have peace and tranquility and decide to come back for one more season with the Green Bay Packers. I really hope he like tells everyone he's going to the Jets and then he just retires. Why do you just like not? I just want to see Brandon in pain for a second. Brandon, you just never think positive about the Jets at all. It's well, yeah. Why? Why should I, Eric? Oh my God! Why, I no, no, no. But why positive. should I? But why should I? Because why should I? You have I? a good defense. You have. Oh, okay, the good defense. I've heard it all before. Offense. I've heard it all before, all you need Eric. Is a quarterback. I mean, yeah, they're not going to get one. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to get one. Aaron Rodgers. You can what? get Jimmy G and, and still oh, be no, 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 don't, don't even, no, no, don't even no, go there. Jimmy G oh, will put them God. further no, into no, the ground. No, 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 they what? He's terrible. He can somewhat throw an accurate ball more accurate than Zach Wilson. That's not difficult. That's, that really is not really difficult. Not. Yeah, but he can get you somewhere. Uh, to where? Not one more is, win. Is the, uh, what? Yeah, one more win, just like Derek eight Carr, and nine, nine and eight in the <laughs> first round exit. And why shouldn't I bitch? Because it's the same story every year. When was the last time this team won a Super Bowl? Answer me that. What, you Super know, Bowl 2? Super Bowl 3. The, 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 the Cults, three. The Cults three. were, yeah, three. 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 The, the Colts weren't even in Indianapolis yet, just to put that. They oh, were the Baltimore, Baltimore Colts. That's one. Two, this team hasn't made the playoffs in 13 years. That's why also I could bitch. Damn. And three, because they're not going to do anything about this. They're not. They're not going to trade for, if they do, great. You know, maybe we'll have a chance. Anyone else on this list, they're not getting Lamar. Let's just settle that. They're going to be mid. And if they, you know, and the only reason they're going to be mid is because of the defense, like you mentioned, which gets no help. You know, even the offense fully healthy, which, you know, it has trouble doing it between the O-line and, you know, running back, which I'm excited to see Brees Hall. Don't get me wrong. Nothing's happening. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not intrigued. I'm not intrigued. And it's because of the past why I'm not intrigued. Until they make a move to make me say, okay, now I have faith. I don't have it. Sorry to blame. Yeah. You should have faith. What? Look at the defense. Look at the, de- the defense. Look at the defense is the problem. Team. I told you the defense is fine. I'm happy with the okay. defense. So the offense, let's talk about the offense. Offense is great, but do they have a quarterback? Once you get a quarterback that can somehow... But will we get one? Because it doesn't sound like we are. A quarterback will get you at least in the playoffs. Okay. But we. But right now, everything that's said down here, 
you know, Jets screwed at QB. Just read the headline and you understand why I'm not so optimistic. Oh, My phone is covering the headline. Like, I'm not reading <laughs> it. Hey, Braden, cool down for a second. We got a caller on WHPC Sports Talk. Caller, what's going on? Hi, this is Mrs. Charlie from Floral Park. Oh! How are you guys Mrs. doing? Mrs. Charlie! It's Hi, a, Mrs. Charlie. This is Mrs. Charlie. Listen. It's an honor I and a was, privilege, Mrs. Charlie. I was born and raised in Philadelphia. F. Braden. Oh! <laughs> oh! Let's go! This is what I wanted! This is what I wanted! <laughs> I'm sure you are the lone exception. To Philadelphia, <laughs> because I I cannot stand them, Miss Charlie. As as I'm sure you could tell, I'm sure you could tell. I do not well, like Philadelphians. Awesome. I do not like them. Was they are the mean. Best, was that the best call ever? Yes, that was the best call ever. How you doing, Charlie? Uh, good, good. I just once I heard all sort of negativity. I had to uh, I had to get my wife involved. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Wait, Charlie, quick question. Yes. So now that you're a Knicks fan, how did it feel? Were, were you a little emotional about the Brooklyn loss, or were you excited for the Knicks win? <laughs> no, I'm very excited for the Knicks. Um, I, think, I know you guys love hating on R.J. Barrett. He's going to take his $100 million all the way to the bank, and you know, he's, he's going to be fine. He's not, he's not going anywhere. No, I'm very happy for the Knicks. I, uh, I think Ben Simmons, actually, this is the perfect environment for him with the Nets. Zero pressure. He could actually maybe do something with his career. Maybe. Maybe. I don't but know. But no, I'm very happy for the Knicks. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. Thank I love Hart. This guy Hart was a great pickup. Yeah, he was. Tell me about it. Hopefully he could keep it up. Now, I love this expression you guys constantly use, belt to cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that before. And then you added belt to cheeks and dog walking. That was awesome. <laughs> That's cross compared with the lingo, baby. That Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Thank belt you, Charlie. Belt to cheeks and dog walking. Oh, now i got to go give presents to my wife for doing that. All right, keep up the good work, guys. All right, Charlie. Charlie. Have a great day. That's going in the uh, the Hall of Fame of Damn. calls on the show, you know. <laughs> yeah. And offend Charlie's wife, shit. <laughs> she said, F Braden. I was like, let's go. <laughs> oh, man, we covered, Charlie and Char Mrs. Charlie covered all the bases on that one. That was... Damn! If you if you think you can follow that one up, five one six five seven two seven four. The only thing uh, that could follow that up is Corey David finally calling. Yeah, Corey. Listen, we called you out yesterday. I really got to have a chat with you, bro. Like, there's no way you really thought that the Eagles with that weak ass schedule that mo it was just gonna be sweet with Patrick Mahomes. It's Patrick Mahomes. Like, what are we talking about? A blowout. He I, really predicted I put, for the Super Bowl to be a blowout. Brayden, I put stat by stat by stat <laughs> by stat. No, it's going to be a blowout. Bro, a what are you game. talking no, about? He was probably watching Mahomes drive down the field in the second half on a bad ankle and be like, I am such an idiot. No, nah, he had the Giants gear on, but when Jalen Hurts scored that game-tying touchdown, you know he was doing the fly, Eagles fly with the... What? Who is he a fly, fan Eagles of, bro? Fly. What's Looking he? like a dumbass. Dude, he, no, 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 bro. He he does. He has like the wheel app, and it's like, all right, what team am I gonna be a fan of this week? And he just spins the wheel, and whatever it lands on, he's that. That's his next team. Well, it always lands on the Eagles, though. Apparently, yeah, so really does. or the Cowboys or ninety-nine you know. percent Eagles, one percent Giants. Yeah, <laughs> mean. Great show. Hey, if he doesn't call up now, he's never calling up. He he never calling up. But it's time we gotta talk some major league. Yay. Baseball. <laughs> Wait. We really don't. <laughs> we really do. We really do. It's some relevant news what going on in the world What is your beef with baseball? baseball? Bro, it's February. Who cares? Football season's over, technically. It's February. You know how, like, you know, like, analysts take off during the summer because, like, sports die down and it's just baseball on? Yeah, I feel like I'm going to be that guy. I'm just, like, I'm going to be... Then we're not going to see I won't, be, I, won't, I won't be around either. That oh, man. I'm, I might just be gone. Like, you know, summer vacation. Yo, quick question. Wow. Well, my old football coach told me Happy Valentine's Day. That's <laughs> us. <laughs> um, I still didn't answer it. Show us on the oh, teddy bear, man. Franz. Where were you touched? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. What do nah, you mean, my on the Valentine's Day? How old bear. were you when you when this guy was your coach? Yeah, how old were you? Oh, this was my high school coach. Oh, yeah. oh word? Yeah. JV or Vars? Hey, chill. <laughs> uh, Vars. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You guys got showers in the locker room? Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah, nah. Stop. Nah, yeah, I still didn't answer, away, bro. <laughs> kind of thrown off, but 
Did he so just know send it like, to is this you like the or the rest of the body? players? Like, nah, it was just like it wasn't the group text. It wasn't a group text. Oh, when was the last time y'all talked? Oh, like a couple months ago. <laughs> He's crushing on you. He's Where nah, yo, chill, bro. We miss you. <laughs> chill, bro. Nah, you see, you started speaking oh. belt to cheeks a lot, and then he wants to put his belt to your cheeks. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yo. Hey, yo, man. continue on yeah, with the conversation, there ain't, nothing, there ain't nothing left to do, but continue on after that one. <laughs> Coach shooting his shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah. I gotta chill, bro. So the Major League Baseball rule changes. I want to know what uh, Brayton and everyone else thinks oh, about this. Boy. Um, where, where do you want me to start? Hold well, on, let me roll through them first. So ex- extra inning games, Ghost Runner, uh, second base. It was gone last year with um, positive... Uh, feelings about it from the fans, well, it's back for some reason. They voted it in as a permanent rule moving forward, so that's one. Uh, bigger bases, I guess everything bigger is uh, better. W. Uh, pitch <laughs> not clock. necessarily, but... Not, oh, well. Well, I... What you trying to say, baby? <laughs> yeah, no, no, nothing. Josh, okay. Sports, <laughs> sports, 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 sports. <laughs> Pitch clock. There's a pitch clock now, so bases empty. Pitchers will have 15 seconds in between pitches. Runners on base still have 20 seconds. Uh, according to Nico, uh, I've heard you can do a lot in 20 you seconds. You can do a lot. Do a whole lot in 20 seconds. Actually, a, a former co-host would used to brag about that a lot. Oh no! Fun fact. I thought, but I gotta give him credit. What do you said, mean by that? He, he said it was 30 seconds. Third, you're right. 30 seconds. You're right. Man. That's I think it was twenty nine point five actually. No, no it was wrong. 30 seconds. He would brag about it a lot. It's really interesting. Was he in the corner while he did it? Yes, also? he was. By himself. Damn, I, I, the thing's at yeah. corner, so I'll anyways, probably, anyways, miserable. Well, you heard what Sean said earlier. You only gave me 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> Let me pick up the text. I got a question. Yeah, What are the ahead. penalties for the pitch clock? I have no idea. Is it? A, I think it's an automatic strike, though, if you violate it, which is kind of funny. No, you mean Here, ball? Here's the... Automatic ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, the majority of these rules, aside from maybe the bigger bases and the shift... It's like it, it's all like preserved time, but the problem with baseball is in time. It's just they're marketing it wrong, and they think that time is the issue. Like maybe if I actually put some effort into it, you wouldn't have to go with the ghost runner or the pitch clock. I quite frankly I don't mind like long breaks in between pitches. You know that's part of baseball. Um, the bigger bases thing. Someone commented that it was gonna look like a pizza box. I think one of the coaches. Mm, so pizza. And, and the whole thing. <laughs> isn't it only like a two inch. Difference? I don't know. I think it's it was. Bigger, a, I yeah. think it was a joke. You know, kind of. Two inches your head, a lot. But, um, no, I. All right. I was. <laughs> Jesus. If, if you if you want if you want to go to the shift, um, you know, I I kind of th- you know to be honest, I'm gonna be one of these people. Like you know, why you know why can't like the hitters like adjust like you know you should be able to if you get paid like you I know agree. a certain amount per year. Yeah. So. I I don't like the idea of the shift either. Yeah, you know, shift is you know it's it's a strategic you know how, how do I put this. Strategic um, strategy on defense. Yeah, it's, stra- it's really the only defense. strategy on defense. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's but, a guy who, you know, if there's a guy who pulls the ball 90% of the time to right field, why wouldn't you line up one guy exactly. in the on the shallow outfield, the shortstop over second base, and the first baseman, you know, not in shallow right, but just over the bag. So, I don't know. Uh, First off, all that means is that Darren Ruff is going to hit 300. No, he is. Yo, Darren, if he he's even tragic. plays a game He shouldn't season? even be in the platoon. Don't even get me started with Darren Ruff, okay? Darren I, I, Ruff should be a good Met, too. That was me. No. Well, I no. thought no. you just said that just now. No. That no. Now that's, that's in the vault. I said that. Yo. That's my worst take ever. That was clear as hell. Darren Ruff should be a good Met, too. That. He should be. That sounded like a <laughs> video <laughs> game. <laughs> that sounded like the King he's Griffey terrible. game. Nah, when, that when, dude when, is actually Griffey. garbage. When, da- when Darren Ruff gets a hit, he's like uh, Pat Bev throwing his jersey into the stands and like, you know, rushing all around the arena. Like that kind of, <laughs> you know that meme I'm talking about? Yeah. That's Darren Ruff when he gets a hit. Oh, man. Because he's going to be like, you know, batting 050 by the end of September. He shouldn't <laughs> even be on the team. Let's not even talk about September and Darren Ruff. <laughs> we don't give credit to nobody on the show. We all just. Who's supposed to give credit to? Who? Oh. You want me to give credit to Darren Ruff? Darren, you suck there. <laughs> oh, well, all right, man. <laughs> Trash. It's good enough for me, I guess. <laughs> uh, other news, Keith Hernandez is back hey. in the SNY booth. He signs a three-year deal to stick around. That's good news for Mets fans. I, I tell you, Gary Keith and Ron on the Mets broadcast is like a podcast over a baseball game. It is. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, like I promised, I said we were going to get to all four major American sports today. That means we finishing off with 
The winners of five straight games, the New York Rangers, they're taking their winning streak though to West Canada. They face the Canucks in Vancouver tonight. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Oops. Oopsies. Close yeah, enough. I, always, I, I try to... You live in the future. I respect it. Always, always, always. You but uh, how are we feeling about the game tomorrow? And how are we feeling about the overall state of the Rangers right now? Nico, you, 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 no, no, you go first. Braden. I insist. Braden. I insist you go first. No, you always want to hear me Braden. bitch first. You Braden. go first. Braden. I think, just maybe, we might be the best team in the league. Well, oh. Wouldn't go that far, I but they, they look pretty damn good. We are the best pretty team pretty damn league. good. What about the Bruins? Screw the Bruins. The Bruins ain't got Vladimir Tarasenko. I'll tell you that right now. They don't got it. And they, they have David Pasternak. Yeah, that's really it for them right now. Because Brad Marchand has been invisible this season. Uh, Patrice Bergeron, Charles McAvoy, you know, nah. Linus Allmark came out of nowhere. I was called. Is it Linus or Linus? I, I. That's a great question. Who cares? Honestly, he, you know, be good enough to make a save. I'll call you what you want. Um. Yeah. Um. The Rangers. Um. Tarasenko deal looks uh, pretty nice. He didn't do much against Carolina, but he did score in his first game. So he scored on his second shift. That's it true. took him two minutes and twenty nine seconds to score a goal. Sammy Blade didn't score a single goal in 54 games. Yeah, and then he also scored a goal <laughs> the same night the Rangers massacred the Hurricanes. That was a good game, too, by the way. That was a beautiful game. Four, game. four goal game. Yep. I don't know. Um, We're them. We're him. He is him. We are We are the best team in that NHL. I'm I, convinced. Are you convinced? What, what can, I am truly convinced. What the way they're playing you? right now? The way they're playing now, can they sustain it now is the big I, question. I don't see how they don't. Well, Now the only thing they need to do, get Tyler Mott back. Yes. You get Tyler Mott back on this team. And so who would you substitute him out for then? I assume um, probably Gauthier, uh, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's Listen. They got to figure out what they're doing with Vitaly Kratzov. Oh, please. Don't even start with that know bomb, what's please. There. What's your opinion on Kratzov since we got some time? What, what's your opinion? What's your take? I, you know, Gerard Gallant is one of those coaches where if you're not doing anything right away, He's going to take you out. Yeah, but but you and see, here's... Krasov is unfortunately a player that needs to get in the rhythm to get going. Yeah, but you see, here's the thing: twenty games played, six points. He's only like a plus five. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I for, like, for a guy for this drafted, team, it doesn't work. But I mean, look at the first three seasons of Capocacco's career. He was moving at that pace. Yeah, this guy's also a ninth overall selection. To be fair, now if you're going by the Kako comparison, Kako is second overall. And then look at Lafreniere, who's been absolute dog water this season. Yeah, well, that lot. Well, unfortunately, the kid line, and well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. Fortunately, the kid line has been a lot better, and they've been one of our stronger lines. Yeah. So, listen, um, it, this is this could be easily be a very similar, no, not similar, but common case where you know the player just doesn't fit. You know, it could be along those lines. Hopefully, it isn't, but. He's requested a trade for, like, what, the second, the third time now? He, this is, like, three straight years of him requesting a trade. Yeah, so, like, the thing about it is, like, yeah, you know, I could see what Gallant, and I know David Quinn didn't play him often when he had the chance, mm-hmm. but it's, like, the th- for a third time, it obviously isn't working out, so, like, how can we give you more time if, like, you don't right. want to be here? That's the problem. And he doesn't, and, he, and you know what, he's right, he doesn't fit in. What? Where in the top nine would he fit in right now? With the, the way only they're playing. available spot is second line right wing, because I don't know about you, I love Jimmy VC. He should not be our second line right winger. That is not yeah. your second line right winger in this in a, on a Stanley and Cup winning and, team. And, and, and you know what the sad part is? They clearly have more faith in him because they signed him to a two year extension and Kratzov. And, and he's been good. He shows effort on every time he gets on the ice. I know, and that's why probably Gerard is choosing him over a guy. Kratzov isn't even play. Like it's different if he's on the fourth line. He isn't even playing. But well, you so, can't you can't put him on the fourth line. Well, you can't. Uh, Galar, he lives by that rule. You're not going to put a young gun right winger on the fourth line. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't make sense. So, th- so yeah, but, but then- you j- you have to figure out what you can get for him. And if it's a second line right winger, you got to pull the trigger. If so- it's Patrick Kane, I will not be coming back on. No, no, no. Well, that's not going to happen. They're not going to have the cap space. Even I don't, I don't even think if they retain fifty percent, even because Kratzov isn't making that much. He's still on what his rookie contract. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's probably not going to happen. Um, so, so let me ask you this: Say Kratzov was the slot in somewhere in this roster. These, no, wh- where would you? Put, who would you take out for Kratzov right now? Oh, because me personally, I hate to say it, I probably wouldn't take out anyone. What's the fourth line right now? Goudreau, Goudreau, Le- Le- probably Lecision the close, but he's not a center, so that wouldn't work. Um, well, no, I would take out Lecision, put Goudreau at center. That will be available. Probably. VC to left wing, 
Gauthier to right wing. I really put like, Kratsov on the second line because that's really the L- only decision. Decision is nearing what does he even do status, <laughs> which is really why decision is a phantom. He's just I don't even know what he what does he do. We play with eleven forwards a night. That's really where we're at. I don't know. Um, in terms of their defense, um, <laughs> it's what, phenomenal. What, what do you think? think what do you think about McCullough? I think, I think he's, he's great. Good. Yeah, I think just well they were getting screwed against the Kraken with penalties. You know, no, they were. Yeah, yeah the, he sent the puck out of play. He's clearly hits Matty Beniers. Yeah, I pr- you know him or Harper. I'm fine with either of them. McCullough. I, I feel think like I'd rather McCauley just he's a bigger presence. Yeah, but but like say McCullough were to go down, I'm not. I don't have an issue with Harper. Oh no, not there. at all. Um, Adam Fox should win the Norris. Enough said. Yeah. Um, Jacob Truba. You know, to, to, you know. To be fair, his defense not not so great, but his leadership. You know, he's since bad. the helmet toss, twenty four and three. It's pr- pretty yeah, damn we've good. We've won twenty four of the last twenty eight games. Keandre Miller is. Um, Pretty damn good also. Uh, Ryan Lindgren, very... There was a trade the other day. They were showing, like, trades. And it was, like, Ryan Spooner for, like, Ryan Strom. Yeah. And then it was, like, Rick Nash for, you know, Keandre Miller, which was the first-round pick, and, like, Ryan Lindgren and, you know, all that. Mm-hmm. And Spooner went over in that deal also, and he turned into Strom. Uh, that's the one thing. The Rangers might not be... Able, well, not that they, they, they can't draft. They know, how, they to know how to trade. They can't. They might not be able to draft and develop because, you know, Tanner Glass, but... They they can definitely pull the trigger on some nice trades, and that's you know that's probably what's going to save them. Um, Yaroslav Halak, I you know I'll knock what it is. I probably owe you an apology. Um, Igor I should, definitely owe him an apology. I, Igor is he got enough said. Um, they just need a right winger. They just need one more piece. And you get if you could get Matu, that'd be great. But if you could figure out Tyler that Mott. second line right wing, this team is like get the parade ready. This no, team let's, is let's winning the cup. There. Let's not go there. This team we, is winning. We have the a cup. notorious habit of jinxing things. And also, just to finish off, Charlie, I'm sorry if I offended your wife. Done. <laughs> hey, you guys bring up Lafreniere and Kako. I, I mm. guess I'll stick with Lafreniere because people talk about the RJ Barrett top three pick. Mm-hmm. Better or worse? The thing is, it's. it's <sighs> I don't know. They honestly might be more comparable than we think. You, you can't really. It, it's hard to compare because the NHL developing is so different than NBA developing. All right. Especially when Tanner Glass. And you, you know, you only have five guys on the court at once, really. Right. But you're interchanging two players every minute in the NHL, so it's hard to really compare. I would say Lafreniere is better in the grand scheme of theme, Damn. things. Well, he was considered a generational talent yeah, when he was she drafted. Hasn't been. But. He hasn't been because. There was really no room on this team for him to be. Well, that's the issue with a big market team. You always sign the top free agents. Yeah. It's the issue. So, <sighs> it's How can I put this? It's like if Wemba Nyama gets drafted by, like, the Bucks. Damn. Mm. He's going to be screwed for, like, three years. All right, so I'm glad we cleared up that R.J. Barrett is the true Whopper Jr. with cheese and pickles. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll call it a show on that note on WHBC Sports Talk. For Brayton, Daniello, Nico, Eric Williams, Franz Kapir. It's Josh Imahi signing off. See you tomorrow at 4 o'clock.